from the flood protection uh, bureau have been, uh, been been lifted and already took, took care of that. Um, we have a partial payment on our audit, which will be on the bills to be paid. That's the bill itself. Um, it's a, I, I assume we'll have a, a next, usually the procedure is after we get partial payment, the fo following month, they'll be here to review the audit with the members of the authority. Um, so we're looking forward to that next next meeting. Here are the north and central revenue comparisons that I've been giving you since since the envelope opened. So take one of those for each, please. There's, there's two different things. One I north, one back. One oh. north, one south. I only took one. Yeah. No, I'm talking to Mary. <coughs> she, she needs, needs one, one north. north. I need a north. Yeah. Mary, we received a notice here. I just received it this morning. Oh. The Aspen oh. Specialty <laughs> Insurance Group, which covers our uh, public officials' liability. All right. I, I'm, I'm just not familiar with this company, uh, but in any case, they're not writing that insurance any longer. We have the insurance until 7-1, and they have they have sent it to another uh, another carrier um, to issue the insurance. Who's, who's our agent? Um, you know what? I, I, I don't. That's what I'm. That's what I'm confused with. They even have an old address. I'm not even sure it's ours. I'll check into it and then forward it over to you. I'll call the company. Make sure it's the right. right uh, they have a whole public square address. So I mean, I, mean, I, th I think if it's uh, it, we undoubtedly have an agent, and we'll probably want to get some recommendations. Yeah, on that. But, but I'll I'll sure sure I'll take care of that. I'll be happy to uh, be happy to sure. sure. Um, we did receive, and I have a copy for each of the members. Uh, the email from Desmond this morning saying that they would in fact have something for us. Uh, well, you can read it yourself. So we'll keep this in house until we until we make sure the numbers are right, and then out it'll go. So that's the uh, email that came this morning about 11 11:15. Um, I met yesterday. Uh, spent most most of the afternoon with the Desmond people. Uh, they were on the ground here yesterday. Did a complete review of all the uh, all the area included within the parameters of, of the contract, which was this, this, this area, we made up this map and we covered every street um, on, on, in, within the area. Um, it's, the same, it's the same map that's in the RFQ, uh, and it, it defines the area of, of uh, for the bid. So we, I went around with the, with the Desmond guy yesterday and every bit of it was was reviewed, so uh, that's probably why they're going to be ready shortly to be able to, uh, to give us the, the financial review. So that was done yesterday. And other than the uh, the RFQ that we've worked on diligently, that's good for my report right now. Any questions for Tom Corbett? Bob, <coughs> Our solicitor, Murray Upberg, anything? Well, thank you, Mr. Chairman. I think that my report mirrors Tom's. Uh, we've been working, uh, we've been working a lot on the uh, on this proposal in the RFQ uh, to make sure that it's consistent with uh, the authority's expectations. Thank and you I'm very much. You have to tell you that I think it is. Thank you. Sure, sure. Uh, I need a motion to pay the bills. 
Anything uh, else it comes before the board? If not, we're going to ask for a motion to adjourn. Could I ask a oh, question? Good question. Yeah. Pardon me? Yeah. Question. Or a question people have. Yeah. Uh, Bob Kalabowski, I want to know who <coughs> had a meeting, how many or how many board members had a meeting with the mayor over this situation? I guess within the last few days. And what was discussed at? What was that? What was that question? How many board members met with Tom Layton over this situation? Bob, if, if you let me just ask you a question, and, and I'm not interrupting your question for an answer, but if it is the purpose of your asking the question to determine whether a meeting was held and whether it violated the Sunshine Law? Okay. Because if it is, there is a clear exception to to meetings that are held in executive session by the authority for matters of leasing. Uh, Matt and I, Matt Rogers, my associate, and I have reviewed that very thoroughly. Be happy to provide you with a citation that you, so that you or anybody else can verify it. But it is perfectly appropriate for the authority members to meet in executive session or with the mayor for the purpose of discussing the, of the leasing of, of, of real estate. Um, Matt, you have that citation. Mm -hmm. and <clears throat> Mr. Kalabowski will be happy to provide it to you. Okay. Well, can uh, so you give like an answer now? Pardon me? The answer was in the paper. Late in the no, no, no. I'm not, I'm not, no, I, I'm not he denying the question here. Does no, no. you have the authority? I, I, I understand. I understand. That I think he understands why I'm asking the question. And I'm not denying the answer to the question. I'm simply want to make it very clear on the record that any meetings held by the mayor with the parking authority are not against the law that they're perfectly appropriate under the law. And if that was the purpose of the question, I want to, he, he and I understand each other. I, I, I'm just making that clear. I'm not, get the answer. I'm just telling you that the, the that meetings of that sort are entirely within the purview of the law. That's all. Am I allowed to ask what went on at the meeting? You can ask. I don't know that they're going to, I don't know they're going to discuss it. Well, with you guys. Yeah, we uh, had a meeting with the mayor. Okay. We just wanted to make sure that we're all on the same page, looking for the, that council and everybody gets the right information and said there's too much incorrect information out there. We just made it clear that, you know, we want everybody involved, the council people, because we don't make the ultimate, the final decision, and a question came up is who makes the final decision on this? Is it a parking authority or council? He wasn't sure. We could say yes, and council could say no. And he wasn't, and if we say no, can they override us and say yes? Can they? Does the solicitor know? I don't, well, know. I, I don't think that oh. question's ever been posed to us. Well, but I think the authority. Well, let's, let's, well, I understand. Let's get some, oh. some information about it. Well, well question, we, I wouldn't is, vote on anything if you don't know who's going to override you. No. I'm sorry, but that's that's just. that's The logical sequence is that this authority has the ability to act on its own for its own property. It is an, it is an autonomous body. The question of override, I did not attend the meeting, any meetings with the mayor. So if, if that question arose, I was unaware of it. And I'm not, I'm not in the habit of giving curbside opinions to questions that are asked of me about the law. If the act, question is asked of me as counsel, as solicitor, whether the decision of the authority can be overridden by city council, which has never arisen before this meeting, I'll be more than happy to research that question. I hope that answers you. Well, that's a, you only had to get that. This is a, yeah, the, only, the only question, the only concern we have is that everybody knows what's going on. That's right, because one thing was in the paper today. I didn't hear about it at the last meeting. Our major goal is what's best for the city, and that's what we're doing. I, I'm a city member here, too. Yeah, we understand. We're, you know, and you know, I don't want to stick my grandkids with a mess. I don't think anybody here does either, sir. No, I didn't accuse anybody, did I? But no. You're, you're spurting hairs now. 
No, that's not possible. Um, but, but in, general, in, general, in general, it was a very cordial meeting. He just wanted to make sure everybody was on the same page. What's the and same it, page, though? What is that? What does that mean? That means if the deal isn't doesn't make sense for us, and, and it agrees, doesn't make sense for the city, then that's what's best for the city. Right. Yeah, if it doesn't everybody benefit agrees, the city, it's, it's not going to happen. Let, let me ask you this. I look How can you say that, what's best for the city? You're only one person. He's. We're getting... Uh, copy from the newspaper what his opinions are. So what is everybody's here opinion? You only want to save the city. I mean, the, 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 ultimately the final decision is our for the city. JJ Murphy's here. qualifications. Last time he put up the the cost center. Well, that was a disaster for the city. If it wasn't for Wilkes College, where would it be? Could I finish? I want to. Yep. All right. Uh, other other thing I just want to say. So in other words. When will we know who actually has the, the power to do this deal, to say we're going to do it or we're not going to do it? When will we know the, that? The question will not arise, frankly, mm -hmm. unless there is a dispute between the authority and city council. City council has the authority to deal with the parking meters and the things that belong to the city. Okay. The authority has the, has the power to deal with the matter the matter of its garages and whatever whatever real estate it owns that's utilized for parking. The question of a dispute between the, the authority and the city council has never arisen. So I, I, I think that it's somewhat premature, honestly, to, to, to raise the question and to, and, to do, and to spend money researching the question of what would happen in the event that there was a dispute. At the moment, while I'm sure that the authority fully respects the, the opinion of every citizen, the people here at the table, the, the authority members, have worked a lot of time. They're not being paid. They're here trying to do their job as members of the parking authority. They're researching everything. We're examining everything. We're talking to everybody that we can. Uh, we're engaging Desmond. We're doing all, I, I think they're doing all the right things. So their goal is to achieve a result that is in the best interest of the city. Now, there may be people who agree with their decision, and there may be people who disagree with their decision. And everybody's opinion has to be respected. But so does theirs. And their opinion will be based on a great deal of involvement and research, and, and as much legal opinion, as much legal help as we can provide, which we're doing. So I think at the moment, it's premature to talk about what happens if there's a, if there's a dispute. If that arises, I assure you that we'll have the answer at the table. Okay, I, I mean I will, but I, I, you don't you don't research the potential for a fight unless you have reason to believe there's going to be one. Okay. I just so I'll just close on this. Well, I, no, I have a question. So I have a question. <laughs> Mark, let me just finish. I, I, I have one more thing. Okay, all I'm asking you people is this: I like you to like. I knew nothing about this stuff until I seen what broke. But I just take you back. Please, take a look at what happened in Chicago. Take a look. And just like when I bring up about the towing, the mayor said about the towing, it wasn't going to cost anybody anything more. Nothing more. Tom, use your motel as an example. You're getting $70 and $75 a night for rentals. $20 to clean the room. They fire you, destroy you. Then they say, oh, this is going to be great. Now they're charging $400 a room, $500 a room, $700 a room. That's the example I'm using. The mayor lied, and who's paying? The insurance companies and the people that get their car towed. So all I'm asking the board to do this, research this, what's been printed in the paper, and talk to these people. I mean, just what was in it, I think the, our, the press has done an excellent job uh, in, in researching this. But take a look in Chicago. What happened with Mayor Daly's people? They rushed that thing through, and where's Mayor Daly's people working now? For that law firm. So all I'm asking you to do, I'm sure you're trying to do what's in the best interest of the people. But the people are outraged, and I'm the perfect example of what how what how good the mayor's word is. The mayor lied, and look who's paying for it. So that's all I'm saying to you is just look at all the, the facts that uh, the press have dug up, and take a look at the comments on on what's been on the internet and stuff. And the Chicago thing is your prime example of who who in the end gets hurt, the people. So that's all I got to say. So I'm going to go find somebody here who has to be parked illegal. <laughs> <laughs> I, I put money in the meter.
Yeah. <laughs> Just so you know, I never argue with Bert. <laughs> we, were, we were in line over at a square one day. After two and a half hours, he finally got the answer. It was real potatoes and the potato pancakes. <laughs> <laughs>